When a tree dies, where does all that wood go? Why is the forest floor not piled deep with centuries worth of old logs? It turns out that certain species of fungus are responsible for that, slowly digesting the tough cellulose found in wood, recycling those nutrients back into the soil. It can take years to make a tree disappear. The mushrooms produced by those fungi cover a huge range of sizes, shapes, colors, and edibility. Most of those mushrooms don't look like the standard mushrooms, so you might overlook them. Here's a quick tour of what you're likely to find in our woods. We'll start with probably the most common Northwest mushroom. Any time of year, look around for dead trees, stumps, or logs, and you'll see these. They're a kind of shelf fungus called the red belted conch. There's a fungus inhabiting that tree, and the mushroom is just its fruiting body, hanging on the bark and shedding new spores every year. The visible conch can grow for decades. A similar shelf fungus creates the western artist's conch. These conchs are often coated with their own powdery spores, the color of cinnamon. What's unusual about these conchs is the white spongy undersurface. You can draw or write on it and it immediately takes an impression. A third shelf fungus is the varnish conch. It has a glossy top layer. It's often mistaken for a reishi mushroom, which supposedly has healing properties, but actually isn't found in the Northwest very often. Those shelf fungi are too hard and chewy to eat. But here's one that some people do eat. The sulfur shelf, also known as chicken of the woods. It's always this bright yellow or orange and usually stacked in plates up the side of an old snag. Up close, it looks kind of like giant candy corn. Now let's look at three popular edible mushrooms that grow on wood. The most common is the oyster mushroom. It's found in both spring and fall, usually on dead maples and alders. It grows in packed clumps like these. A rare treat is the bear's head, which typically is found hanging off huge old logs. It's a choice mushroom with an attractive taste and texture. It's fresh and crisp though for only a week or so. Come back next year and the fungus may have put out a new one. Finally, many people consider the cauliflower mushroom to be their very favorite edible. It's often found at the base of trees or stumps, growing off the roots or even out of the ground. Bear in mind, the name is sort of confusing. As you can see, it looks a lot more like a pile of pasta. This is just a sampling of mushrooms that you may find in the Northwest woods. Here are a few more common sites. The winter chanterelle. Honey mushrooms. Turkey tails. Dyer's polypore. and puffballs. So, next time you're out mushrooming, don't just stare at the ground. Lift your head up, higher, and look around. You never know what you might find.